Hey everyone, this is a continuation tutorial of this property management system. Till now, we have covered uh, like lot of features of it, like how you are going to face the details, save the details and display all the property details. So if we logged in over here, like I have to started the application in the back end and now if we logged in, means I am just trying to summarize that what I have covered over here. In a dashboard, we have showing the details of uh, all the properties. Then uh, we are having this add and update, edit, delete properties, view properties over here. So now here like we are giving the options to book the property details. But now like instead of that what we are going to describe over here instead of book. Once like user interest of any properties then if they want to get the details of it is like different types of images and all. So instead of book we can give the one button which will be the view details. So once user clicked on the view details and then they will be redirected to the in the view details page, view property details page. Over there they can able to view the details of the properties and after getting the details of the properties they can book the property and we are going to save the details. So what we are going to done today's tutorial we are going to give the button which will be the view details and then once the user clicked on this view details button then it can they can like view the details properties and also i will add another one more properties over there like the images now it will be coming in a scroll kind of thing means you can see the multiple images with scrolling kind of property details over there okay so now we need to write the code for it and uh, also like we need to means i'll show you how you're going to proceed further so for that we need to create one component first of all so here if you see that view properties over here so instead of that what we are going to create the component we are going to create the view details property so how we are going to create the component so let me here ng generate component okay where we are going to create the component components slash view details property okay so here we are going to create like under this components folder we are going to create this component view details property okay so once we will generate this one let me close all the files over here okay we need to close all the details things over here let it uh, open the route here we need to add one property so i'll show you that what details we need to add so here First of all, we need to add the CSS. Uh, sorry, not the CSS. First of all, we need to add the HTML file, and then we need to add the component. So, for HTML file, what we are going to display the properties details over here. Like, we need to display the property details, uh, property title, and all over there. Uh, like title, then the location, properties, city, state, and then the images. Okay. So, how we are going to doing this one and here also we are going to add two button one is the book another one is the learn if you want to get more details about it so this is about this HTML file so here if you see that we are showing this property title then property location here we are just combining the city and state so for showing the images in a like uh, slide mode we need to use this one okay this CSS we are going to use okay this is coming from the bootstrap uh, so for that we need to in a angular json file so in a script one a script uh, so here we need to add one like uh, js file okay so this is actually the bootstrap bundle js file so this bundle js we need to add over here once it will be add then here if you see that we are receiving that uh, uh, these images okay so here we are going to use this for loop using the for loop we are adding this multiple images over here so what we need to do like while we are adding the images then we need to give one feature so that admin can add multiple images 
and we need to store those images in somewhere either in the database or in some uh, like static folder or the physical folder over there we need to add those property images for from there we need to fetch those images and we need to display in a display those details in a loop over here like this okay so it will be display those things in a uh, slide one so here we are giving the options to pvs and the next and the finally we are adding two buttons over here so this is about this html now uh, we need to add the details over here in a typescript file okay so what we are going to do like once this will be load then we need to uh, okay before that we need to add this route over here and we need to add another things while actually in a view property actually basically like here so as it will be a view details uh, button so once it will click we need to send this id to the next navigation correct so how you are going to doing that because if we are not going to pass this uh, uh, like id then how we are going to get the details even there is a two options either we can store the JSON details of this particular properties in a local storage and then based on the ID we need to fetch the details and we can display the details into the next page and also we can pass this ID and then we need to like uh, we can basically what you can do we can uh, uh, call the service second by ID and accordingly we can display the result over there so here in the view view details uh, not this one uh, view property over here in the HTML file basically here this book property instead of this we need to call this view details and here if you see that it will basically call this URL property hyphen details and then the property ID this is having this navigation done using this router link alright so router link is basically used to navigate the things to the next navigation and here in the route.js we need to add uh, this routing we need to mention else we will get the compilation issues so how you are going to defining this one we are just going to defining these things like here property details and then this id basically dynamic okay and here we need to add this component because once this uh, navigation will be done then accordingly this component will be loaded so in the now we can navigate to this uh, typescript file over here so here what we are going to, uh, we need to what we need to done actually in the ng on it method basically whatever the id we are getting like this particular id we are sending in a navigation url right this from the navigation url we need to pick this id and based on the id we need to call one service that is the backend we need to add this service like the get property details by id and then accordingly we are going to use this one so how we are going to like uh, get the d uh, id from the request param over here so here under this ng on it we need to call first of all we need to defining one like pop, uh, method which will let me add this one get details property details by id okay so here this integration we need to add one constructor let me add this so here we need to use this integration service okay and the activity route for getting that like uh, for uh, what i say that for fetching the request param basically from the id we need to add this one like this okay like this dot root route dot snapshot dot params for getting the param like this param we need to get from the request param from this navigation right so this is the navigation id that we need to get and this same id we need to pass for fetching the details by id in the integration service we need to add this method so let open this and then over there we need to add this get property by id so here we need to add get all property by id 
what it will return here if you see that URL will be the get property by ID and here we are passing this ID what it will return it will return the property because it will return the single ID details response right so it will return the only one property so now these things is done now so over here we need to defining this property here okay this property we need to add and as I think if you are aware of it like currently this uh, whatever we have developed it's not multi images supported uh, currently right so for demonstrating this one we can take some kind of the dummy images so for that we need to defining some kind of dummy things over here like this in the asset folder we need to keeping some folder like this property image 1 2 3 4 and 5 and this is we are setting under this one okay so if you show this one so it will take the images from this property dot images right property dot images so from over here it will take the images and then it will do all the things so from the front end wise we are done now uh, so next what we will do we just need to create one folder over here under this uh, src like uh, this folder assets and then images so we need to create this new folder assets and under this we need to create another folder like this images new folder images and we need to keep this uh, images over there so let me add so I have added the images under this folder so now if we start this applications or okay it's showing some error exception so we can fix it so we need to add this router link over here in the components then view property in this ts file we need to add this uh, router link right because we are using this router link over there so we need to add it over here router link then it will be gone and next we need to add here basically reactive form module this we need to add and then we need to add this uh, forms module and the common module okay so the build is done now like if we see over here so you can see that view details is coming now if we click this one then we can see because that uh, method actually find by id if we open this network tab so over there if we see you can see that uh, uh, okay images are not found so we need to see like why this images are in the angular json basically under this asset one we need to defining this uh, asset path like src then slash this path we need to define ok yeah now still it's showing ok ok let me restart this application build is done now so now let's see okay now this one like this uh, property by id so this actually you need to create in the back end but if you see over here that uh, the scrolling sliding image is working fine right this is the thing so if you see that this is coming right okay so now like let uh, create this uh, back end api and from there like we need to just defining or uh, like we need to just create only one method over there uh, it will not take much time 
so let me add this one so as I said we need to add one API which will basically fetch the detail by the property ID so here I have created one API like which is the gate property by ID where we need to take only one parameter that ID and based on that ID we need to fetch the details from the database so in a service layer basically we have created one method based on this repository we need to call this find by ID which will return the property detail and dot gate means it will basically return the optional of the property but we are just using the gate we can get the property it may be called the null pointer exception because if the ID will be invalid in this case it will be showing the exception that portion I am not going to take care now but the rest of the things I am going to take care so the property this API addition is done now now from the over here we have as you see that we have called this particular API from over here right okay so now like if we logged in over here like using the username and password over here then we can it will be landed navigate into towards into the like dashboard after that we can go to this uh, view property and here if you clicked over here then you can see that details are coming and also like the images are slightly is moving like one by one currently these images are the static and those are kept under this asset folder we can also doing this thing as a dynamic while we are adding the property we need to add those property multi images while we are doing adding the property and those properties we need to add or keep in somewhere in either maybe physical location or maybe into the database and based on that we can fetch the details dynamically and then accordingly we can do the thing so you guys can try it these functionalities uh, and uh, let me know if you guys are facing any issues but uh, actually I am not tried that one uh, but you guys can try it will be very easy just to store the multiple images over there okay so this is all actually about this one about this uh, tutorial like how we are going to clicking the things and uh, viewing the details and also we are going to display the multi images in a scrolling one so this is all about one okay if you guys have anything please do let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel please press the bell icon for further notification thanks for your time see you in my next videos bye bye Oh, 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 oh,